everybody. I'm the Response Card NXT. I'm here at Sanford Brown today to show you how to work your own Response Card NXT. During the lecture, we often ask students if they understand what we are teaching. Many students are shy or self-conscious and say they understand even if they don't. Response Card NXT can let you ask questions to students and let them answer anonymously. This lets you know if the students are getting it or if you should go over this material again. Response Card NXT has a variety of other functions. It can be used to give your students exams. It can be used for other things like surveys, which we will try out later today. Response Card NXT works directly with Microsoft PowerPoint to deliver dynamic, interactive presentations that will keep your students engaged and make learning fun. If you press buttons by accident and get lost, press the left function key to go back to the main menu. On our next slide, we will answer a simple true or false question. On our next slide, we will show you how we made the true or false question. To create a true or false question, we first go to the insert slide box. Select true or false from the drop down menu. We now add our question. Our question is, the sky is blue. Of course, the answer is true. The sky is blue. We then go to answer values and mark number one correct. The question can now be answered by the audience. On our next slide, we will answer a simple multiple choice question. To answer, press the number that corresponds on your response card. On our next slide, we will show you how we made the multiple choice question. Let's do another one. To make a multiple choice slide, go back to the insert slide button. Select generic slides from the drop down menu and choose three. It's time for us to do a survey. You will be asked a series of questions and will be prompted to answer following each question by pressing the button that corresponds with your answer. Remember, this survey is totally anonymous. I put off tasks at work because I find them boring and I don't want to do them. Agree, Dr. Leia. Choose your answer now. I find people push my buttons fairly easily.
Choose your answer now. I worry that I might lose my job. Choose your answer now. I put off tasks at work because I don't know how to do them. Choose your answer now. I find myself daydreaming about how nice it would be to change jobs. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Choose your answer now. I don't have the authority to get things done that need to get done at work. Choose your answer now. work to do than can reasonably be accomplished by just one person. Choose your answer now. My work environment is uncomfortably political. Choose your answer now. My children, spouse, or partner complain that I spend too much time at work and not enough time with them. Choose your answer now. I don't have the tools or resources I need to get my work done right. Choose your answer now. I find myself watching the clock, eagerly anticipating quitting time. Choose your answer now. My boss criticizes me unfairly. You apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. You see, we're putting the cover sheets on all TPS reports. Choose your answer now. My contributions at work are not sufficiently recognized. Choose your answer now. I work more than 48 hours a week. Choose your answer now. I have 
trouble getting the cooperation from others to get my job done. Choose your answer now. I have a hard time falling asleep at night because I'm thinking about work issues. Choose your answer now. I deal with difficult, pushy people. Choose your answer now. My work schedule interferes with my personal life. Choose your answer now. My paycheck isn't big enough to cover my bills. Choose your answer now. I wonder whether I'll ever be able to achieve my career goals. Choose your answer now. I dread going to meetings because I end up with more work to do. Don't! Choose your answer now. 